Hello everyone and welcome to City Beat. I'm your host, Jenny. Shanghai's art and cultural scenes are busier than ever, so let's take a look at this week's top stories. Overcoming all odds, George Burns combines physical endurance with artistic know-how in a showcase you don't want to miss. Four seasons of skincare. Lifestyle Beat helps our guests look stunning all year round. Life in a glass house. Glass artist Loretta Yang sharpens her style by implementing installation in her work. Great art is about going above and beyond, and the exhibition Connecting Shanghai takes it to a whole nother level by showing how art, travel. Sports and the human will work together. City Beat goes outside the lines. American artist Gregory Burns' 20 paintings are showcased at the River South Art Center. All are inspired by his travels in China, especially Shanghai. Gregory fused his own understanding of dimensions and the inspiration he received from Chinese culture. The former informs his painting style. And the latter is a result of his frequent visits to China, which began when he was still a student in the early 80s. So China, to me, when I was young, was this mysterious place. So in order to find out the root of China, I traveled all over China, not by airplanes, but I took the bus,、uh, I took the train,、um, hard seat, and I slept in the. On the floor of the train, I slept in small, small hotels because that time I was a, st a student, so I was Liu Shuisheng, and I really lived a life of,、uh, as close as I could get to the Chinese. Gregory has put his best foot forward in his journeys as an artist, but it hasn't been easy. As an infant, he contracted polio, a disease which severely limits his physical range of movement. But in the process, it's allowed for a more dynamic spiritual journey, which he's able to channel into his pieces. Many of them incorporate materials, sketches, and photos that he's collected on his travels, giving expression to his interpretation of Chinese culture. The painting you're speaking about, to me, is a is a bit of、uh, a mixture of yin and yang. It's Guilin Yangshuo, the mountains that are shaped very curved and very soft, and then on the right side is Shanghai,、uh, the Bund and and the skyscrapers, which are more square and rectangular, like men.、Um, so the painting is a bit of a mixture of opposites in a way, nature and city, but the river connects the two. Painting is merely one facet of Gregory's life. He's been a competitive swimmer for 27 years, with a successful career which includes five medals and four world records during three of the Paralympic Games: 92 in Barcelona, 96 in Atlanta, and 2000 in Sydney. I, I began swimming when I was three, and I began painting when I was five. So those two things have、uh, gone in parallel all my life, and some people think that athletics and art don't connect. I disagree completely. I think I'm an athlete, and I use my body, and I swim, or climb mountains, or scuba dive, or surf, or whatever, or ride a bike. But I paint with my whole body, and if you see me paint, it's a bit dangerous because I'm moving all over. The paint is all over me, and as if that weren't enough. Gregory also worked as a speechwriter, television producer, and PR consultant. In short, Gregory has led an amazing and colorful life. However, he decided to become a full-time artist in 1997. I, I think from a young age, I was always kind of proving myself that I can do it too. If, if you know, if it meant walking, you know. I can show you. I can walk that far too. So I can walk a marathon. I can climb the mountain. But I think later in life it became important to prove myself to myself because 
for many years I didn't know what I wanted to really do with my life. I had a lot of, as you say, a lot of jobs, a lot of career, but what do I really want to do? It wasn't until I was later, I was older, in my 30s, that I thought, okay, I'm an artist, let's try to really do this well. Some artists paint to escape their reality. Others channel a mishmash of complex emotions. Still others faithfully and colorfully document their experiences. Gregory does all of the above, but it's his ability to capture the essence of his surroundings which speaks the loudest volumes about himself. <laughs>